how's it going? We've got another beer review today. Um, just found this one in the supermarket for six dollars. Dead cheap, dead cheap. It's Boundary Road Brewery and uh, it's called Stolen Base. It's a um, an American double IPA at 8% alcohol. It's a 500ml bottle. Uh, what does it say on the back? The biggest religion in America is baseball, closely followed by religion. This cultural extravaganza can't be properly appreciated with uh, in full without a refreshing brew such as the double IPA, the heavy hitter of Yankee craft beers. Uh, stolen base is our version. Uh, a triple play of smooth malt, citrus notes and super size me hops that leave it bitterer than a Hollywood divorce. So they're trying to be a little bit funny there. Sounds cool. Didn't say, um, well, yeah, I guess it introduced the beer. Um, didn't have too much to say about it though. I'd be keen to know which um, hops are involved actually, but um, anyway. Uh, yep, so Boundary Road Brewery, uh, so they brew it in Auckland. And uh, I think I heard uh, recently that they are brewed by uh, independent breweries. Um, so it's like a company underneath independent breweries. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, so here we are. Pre rinsed glass. Let's dig in. Really, really nice colouring on this one. I mean, really nice. It's, um, man. It is a very, like a very deep amber, um, and it's, it's honestly it's almost red. But some um, beautiful colouring. Um, what do we got? There's, yeah, there's not not really any heat on it. Just a little bit of ring lacing around the sides. Yeah. Um, you know, you can tell it's got a bit of carbonation. You got some stuff coming up from underneath. Um, Pretty clear beer, yeah. Not pulling much else out of it though. But really, what what stands out is is the colour, amazing colour, really nice. Wow, yeah. Picking out um, primarily, I'm, I'm getting really nice sweet malt aroma, um, and then uh, it's sort of overcome by. Um, Sort of like this really sweet sort of uh, hoppiness. Uh, yeah, the hops are just just slightly resiny, um, kind of almost like a grassy sort of um, sort of thing to it. Um, a little bit citrusy as well, uh, and uh, I did catch a little bit more of the mulch there as well. Yeah, yeah, just 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 like a nice general sweet malt, nothing too weird or intense going on in there. Uh, certainly couldn't grab any sort of caramelly sort of flavours or anything like that, uh, aromas. Um, um, cheers, we'll go on to a bit of a taste test. It's incredibly sweet at the front end. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you're getting, getting a blast of malt. And uh, you're also getting uh, the hops there as well, uh, at the same time actually. Uh, and then gradually the hop uh, flavour dies down and you're just getting really sweet, sweet, sweet malt. And um, then a bit of bitterness lingers around. I would have liked to have seen probably a bit more uh, dominance from the hops uh, in the way of flavour. Uh, and maybe just a little bit more... Uh, sort of depth to the hops as well. Um, yeah, the hops. The hops are kind of just. I mean, the flavors mix, but but if you know what I mean, the hops are there on their own, and there's not that many layers of flavoring in the hops. Um, I mean, it's a good example of an American style pale ale using American hops. But um, yeah, maybe just a little little bit more hopping would have would have done well. Um, I think I would probably give this one. Probably an 8 out of 10. 
it's not amazing. Um, it's pretty good though. Um, and I would say, you know, if it's available where you are, grab one, give it a whirl. At that price, why not? <clears throat> and um, yeah, who knows, you might go back for another. Um, I probably will. If it stays on the shelves, I'll probably go back and grab another. So there you go. 8 out of 10. American Double IPA by Boundary Road Brewery. Cheers.